from Wireflow again and uh, I will continue with this uh, progress bar uh, demonstrations and in the last demonstration I show you the basics on how to use the progress bar uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, demo of how you can create your own uh, progress bar window and modify the appearance so this is the VI that I made in uh, the first demonstration and uh, in order to create a new look for your or a new appearance for your progress bar window I create a new VI and this VI on the block diagram of that one I will from the palette, the progress bar palette, go into the template and in the template I use the progress bar template and just drag that into this one. Uh, it adds a number of items uh, the general message, the current message, the progress and the cancel button it feeds them into uh, the engine, the progress bar engine and on the front panel you'll see them like this and the lower part, the progress bar, the error in, error out, they should not be shown because they are only used when you call the, this VI. So let's hide them and just make this one show up. And uh, in order to use that, we take a static VI reference like this, and we take our new VI and we wire that up into the initialization node. So, if I now run this again, I get new VI called the loop progress. All messages are the same. They're formatted with uh, bold style, with italic style, and they use the cancel button if I want to. Uh, so it's pretty easy to modify the appearance of your progress bar and make splash screens and so on. Uh, just to show you that the old one is still in place, I just remove that one and run again and now it uses the old version. One thing to think about when you're doing this is that you might want to make sure that this one is re-entrant. So let's do that. Get it into re-entrant mode so I can run this in parallel. If I run this now, I get this VI. You have to modify the progress bar window uh, as you want. You hide menus, hide toolbars, hide scroll bars, add um, splitter bars, uh, modify the default coloring and so on. Uh, but I leave that to you and uh, that's how you create your own progress bar window with the Wireflow progress bar module. Thank you.